Hi again YouTubers, so just to preface this, this is going to be a pretty long haul. So I just want to let you know that uh, before you start watching, just so you're aware of it. Um, this is some things I got this week, but also this is my haul from the meet and greet with the gurus and all of the other wonderful, wonderful girls that showed up. It was awesome. We had so much fun. Everybody was just so fun and so nice, and um, I just got home. This is what I look like. I had my hair down, and halfway through the time it went up because it was a muggy, gross, hot day. So this is what I look like at the uh, meet and greet. So, um, trying to think. Let's see here. I first got a couple things this week during the week, just to preface this. Is I picked up um, L'Oreal's True Match uh, Concealer. This is what it looks like. Somebody had asked me to do a review on this and I think I have it written down. So I picked that up. Then I had picked up this NYX lipstick. I don't know why it caught my eye. It's in the color Talia, T-H-A-L-I-A. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful nude pink color. And I know the lighting's off today, guys. I'm sorry because it's a really, really crappy day out here and uh, the sun's in. So the only lighting I'm really getting is directly right here because if I put my overhead light on, you guys can't see anything at all. So, um, but this is just a beautiful neutral pink. It's just a gorgeous color. And I've been using it a lot with uh, mica, actually. I really love it. Then I also got, um, from a company called Eden. They sent me some products. Um, they are known for their Moroccan Argan oil, Aragon oil? Moroccan? Definitely Argan. A -R no, Aragon. A-R-G-A-N oil, whatever. Organic, organic ingredients, I can't speak today. They sent me three things to give it a try. One is a beauty bar. It smells pretty good. It kind of smells lemony, I think it is. Um, and then there is a beauty Moroccan argan oil and papaya exfoliating mask and this smells awesome it smells like papaya and then what they're kind of known for which is their beauty elixir which is the oil in its purest form and you can use this on your skin or your hair so um, I'm definitely going to give these things a try and let you guys know what I think of them and then I'm so excited about this um, lovely lovely bubblegum um, who has a blog spot. She's awesome. She's on Twitter. If you guys don't follow her, follow her. I'm going to post her blog spot over to the side. I couldn't find this mascara here, so she sent it to me, and she's awesome. It is called L'Oreal's Telescopic Explosion. Here's why. Look at that. It's like the Givenchy brush. So I'm so excited to try this. I just got it. You are awesome, girl. Um, and she also, nicest person, sent me these earrings. They're gorgeous. I just opened these up. Look at these guys. They are beautiful and they have Swarovski. I always say that wrong so I know that. Crystals on them. Oh my god. They're gorgeous. I'm so excited. Um, and here's her little card. How cute. I am so excited about these. These are beautiful. So I'm so excited. Yay. And then I got in the mail this cool little thing after I went and bought the Mica lip gloss saying come in and try one of our new lip glosses for free like a little sample. How cute is this little lip gloss? Little Chanel gloss they sent me. Or no I stopped and got at Macy's. How cute. What a pretty pink. It's just I used it the other day. It is gorgeous. It is so so pretty. Look at that. What a pretty color. Loving it. So that was free. So now on to my beauty spree slash haul. I know guys, I'm not going to get that beauty spray thing down. I know it. I keep calling it a haul. So um, this is the stuff I got when I was out at the meet and greet. And again, like I told you ladies um, that were there, definitely drop me a message below here and just remind me like who you are so that I can remember because your screen names are different than your names most of the time in real, pers real person. I'm the only person who has one that's similar to my real name, Lisa. So whatever. Um, we went to Sephora and then we went to lunch at CPK, which was great. I got to talk to everybody and guys, if you haven't met me and you think I talk a lot here, meet me. Trust me. I don't shut up as they all learn today. So I hope you had fun. I hope I didn't talk your ear off too much. But um, we went into Sephora, then we went to lunch at CPK and then we drove over to the Mac store because it wasn't in the same mall. But we had a really great time. It was fun talking to everybody, seeing what everybody likes and just enjoying spending time with everybody. So um, I did pick up an Urban Decay 24-7 in Flipside. 
Now it's this really pretty teal blue color. And again, I'm really into lining my eyes with blue right now, my lower line, and I'm loving it. So, so excited to use this. Then I picked up an Aubrey, this is your fault, <laughs> you know this, I told you this, um, Lilium Convertible Color by Stila. And this is, a little hard to open, it's a really pretty color though. It is both pink and peach, and it's a cream blush. You can use it on, you know, on other things as well, but it is just a gorgeous, look at that color, so pretty. So I was so excited to give that a try. And I also picked up, a lot of people here on YouTube have been talking about this, and at first I was like, I don't think this color is gonna work for me, but I'm really into this like peachy tone blush thing, as you'll see as my haul goes on. I know, I've decided, I used to say, hi, my name is Lisa and I have a problem with foundation or I have an addiction with foundation. I just have an addiction, let's be honest. I have too many blush, it's crazy, I keep buying them. I love them, I love them, I use them all. Um, and tanning stuff, you all know I have a problem with self tanners, I'm always trying to find the newer, better things, but we'll get back to that later. So Coralista is by Benefit, and it's a really pretty box. Look at that, guys, look how pretty that box is. And the color, look at that, that is what this color looks like. And I was a little afraid of it, I'll be honest with you, but oh my gosh, when you swatch it, it's beautiful. I think Nat got this too, and it's just a gorgeous color. It's gonna look great on you, Nat. I can't even see it here, darn it. Darn it, and it's so pretty. There you go. It's just, it is scary looking in the box, guys, but it is gorgeous for summertime. It is gonna be beautiful, just a beautiful flush color on your cheek with a tan, awesome. Next thing I got was, now Lisa Lisa D1, who wasn't there with us, but she got me into this color. It is a color, it's by Cargo, and it's called Tonga. And the reason she got me on this, <laughs> I'm just like her in this essence, is she put in one of her favorite blush videos that this is a color that Jennifer Aniston wears. Done, done, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a try. Can't really see. It's just, it's such a pretty peach pink. Again, these are fairly similar. It's my lighting, I'm sorry guys. I know, usually I try to do so much better with that, but with the, with the sun like half down and gross, it's just not working. So then I got another self tanner. Anyway, I got the Seven Nye Tanning Mist and this is what it looks like. A lot of people have talked about this. Um, what I'm understanding is, is it's very comparable to the sun spray, um, but, and you guys know, I love my Saint-Tropez, love it, swear by it, it's awesome. But I've been hearing a lot of people say that this is really great product. Um, the first thing I heard, honestly, is that Lindsay Lohan uses it, and I thought to myself, Every time I see a picture of her, she looks blotchy and orange, so I'm hoping this doesn't look like this because everybody is raving about this. So I'm excited to give that a try. And then, of course, because I bought a certain amount and I'm a beauty insider, I got a sample and I got the Jonathan Stylist Straightening Lotion. Give it a try, we'll see. A lot of times, even though my hair is straight, because my hair is fine, if I use a straightening lotion, um, it actually flattens my hair down pretty nice, which is really cool. So, got that. Then, MAC. So excited, had so much fun shopping with you girls. Jen had a list a mile long, Nat went in there with certain things she wanted, all the other girls got stuff, bunch of you had lists, you know who you are. We had a totally great time hanging out in there and Aubrey had to leave, I'm sorry I didn't get to say goodbye girl. It took us longer to get out of the restaurant than we thought but you know we had a great time. So anyway, first thing I picked up is I picked up some uh, travel jars. Um, I've been sending uh, some things just like Makeup Alley and some swaps and things like that and I thought these would be good to give people some samples of stuff so I thought that was a good idea. Then I picked up the blot powder, pressed blot powder. Um, Zubella had told me she uses this and I'm super excited to try it. I tried it on my way home because I was a little bit oily and actually I still am now. I, well that was a while ago I had used it on my way home. This I don't know what I think about the little pad. I probably won't use that. I'll probably just use the brush that's in my uh, purse, but for right now, we'll see. But I got this in the color dark. You wouldn't think dark, but I've been told, as I talk to people, is that whatever the ingredient is in here that causes it to blot your skin, causes these to be lighter. You can tell. This does not look like dark in color. This looks like 
my MSF Medium, I'll be honest with you. They look more similar. So, or my Studio Fix N5. So, I'm excited about this. Uh, totally love it so far. I only used it twice, but loving it. Can't wait to try it some more. I also picked up a strobe liquid lotion. I've been wanting to give this a try, and everybody says the liquid lotion is better than the um, cream. So I'm totally in on trying this. I'm trying to get some out to show you guys. Uh, it's a really, well, it's really not working. Oh, there we go. Um, it's a really nice iridescent cream. It's supposed to give your skin a nice shine. You can definitely see the shine on that, guys. Wow. So excited for that. Um, I also picked up a new Prep and Prime 50. No matter what, guys, I still go back to this. I wanted to try the Dior one, but they didn't have it at Sephora. So I got this until I find the Dior one. And let's see what else. Oh, I got some more brush cleaner. Just needed more of that. I go through it like mad because I do wash all my brushes every day with a paper towel and just wiping them off like they do in the stores after I'm done using them every single day. Um, I got a new plush glass. This is in the color, sorry guys, my eyes are really bad. Ample pink, loving it. It's a really pretty, just neutral, shiny pink. It'll be great for summer. I really like plush glasses. It's one of those things, either you love them or you hate them. Kind of smell like Play-Doh, but I'm telling you, either you love them or you hate them. So, and another thing I picked up, if you guys have seen me uh, talk, you always notice in my description box, over to the side, I put what makeup I have on. And I always wear, almost always, like 98% of the time, I wear my Laura Mercier cake pan liner. Let me see if I can get it out. Um, and I've been using my e.l.f. brush, this is what it looks like. I've been using my eyes, lips, and face flat brush. Let me see if I can reach it. It's behind the thing here. There we go. Sorry. This is what it looks like, um, and it's only a dollar, so I've, I've always liked it. It's worked pretty well. It works better, honestly, than the Laura Mercier one, um, but I'm finding, I don't know if you can tell, it's starting to like flare out a little bit more than I need it to, so I decided to give the MAC one a try. This is the MAC 212. It's shorter than this one, like as far as the bristles go. You can see the difference. So I'm hoping this one will give me a really nice, good tight line like this one used to. Um, so I got that. Then I got an eyeshadow. Somebody on here, when they watched my eyeshadow collection video, had told me I don't have mulch. And they were like, mulch and shale. And I looked at both of them. And shale is, a, my problem is, is something that has too much gray to it oxidizes on me and looks like really, really kind of gross after an hour or so. So shale wasn't going to work as one of the colors I wanted to buy. But I did purchase mulch. This is what it looks like. Mulch is kind of like, if you've ever seen bronze, it's pretty much that with a little bit more pigment to it and definitely a little bit brighter, but it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Pick that up. And then I got two more blushes. So how many blushes did I buy? I bought five blushes. But I use them all, guys. I use them all. You would be amazed. Trust me, if you knew me, you would understand. I totally use all of them. It's crazy. So I picked up Sun Basque. This is Sun Basque. Again, I'm in this peachy stage, guys. I have tons of pink, pink ones. If you watch my collection video, I have tons of pink blushes. I don't have that many peach blushes. I think I only have like four. So look how pretty that is. It's just such a good bronzy, like beautiful peach tone. Loving it. So excited for that one. And then I also picked up, I'd heard a lot of people talking about this all of a sudden on YouTube, so I decided to get a look for it, and it's called Margin. Um, and it is another peach color. Yes, I know, I bought a lot of peaches, but I told you I'm on a peach thing. It somewhat reminds me of a less shimmery version of Spring Sheen, but it also kind of reminds, it kind, actually, it reminds me of a cross between Cantaloupe and Spring Sheen. So that is that one. I think that's everything. Um, sorry if this video was long, guys, but uh, I definitely, I had a great time with these girls that I met. Um, a couple of them are going to be coming up to Baltimore. I'm super excited. I told them to let me know when they get to the area. Um, I had a great, great time with everyone today. So thank you, everyone, for coming out. Um, I did not take pictures. I know, I suck, I suck, I'm horrible. But Nat took some and Aubrey took some and I asked them to email them to me. So hopefully I'll get them and be able to 
add them in at the beginning or the end of this video, whichever way. So, had a great time. Again, ladies, if you met me, drop me a message here under your screen name, reminding me of who you were, you know, something so it sparked my memory, what you were wearing, your hair, or something. Um, and I had a great time. Thank you so much, guys. And I look forward to the next time we do this. Uh, if you have any questions on anything you saw here or you would like a review on anything, please put a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye.